you guys are anything like me, you have a hard time throwing away scrap lumber, and you might even have a big pile of lumber like this stacked up in the corner of your shop. Today, I'm gonna use up some of my walnut scraps and make a piece with some unique design challenges. I'm making a Star Wars themed cutting board with a secret drawer. Recently, I purchased a set of Japanese knives on Amazon. These are made by a company called Shun. I got an eight inch chef's knife, a six inch santuku, I believe is what these are called. I'm probably butchering that. And a four inch paring knife. It's gonna have a tray where those knives are gonna nest down into it. And then at the push of a button, there's a mechanical actuation that then pops out the tray and you've got all the knives that you need right there nested inside your cutting board. Also, because I've been obsessed with the new Star Wars show Kenobi. I'm gonna work in a Star Wars theme to this project. And seriously, if Darth Vader were a chef, this is totally the knife he would use. Real quick, let me show you what I've got drawn up in SketchUp and how I think this mechanism is going to work. Intentionally, I didn't go look at any other videos, any other like secret opening mechanisms or puzzle boxes or anything like that because I really wanted to work through this problem on my own without putting in other information in my brain. Because I haven't looked at anything else, I'm not sure this is gonna actually work. I'm not an engineer. So as you push the button on the side and this is up against that pivot point this should rotate this way this should slide back and because that tray is spring loaded it should pop right out and then you can pull out your tray and get to your knife. I need to do some prototyping, which I'm gonna jump on the CNC, cut out some plywood pieces, and see if we can get this figured out before we actually even get into any part of assembling the cutting board itself. Okay, so I've got all those pieces cut out on the CNC, and this is just a mock-up. Each one of these little pieces slots down in here, that is going to be the button. So it'll actuate this way. And I'm actually gonna drop a uh, little spring back here behind the button. So it should have some springiness to it. This is what captures the knife tray that's gonna slide in. So this will be the tray. And as it slides in, it'll knock that guy out of the way. The tray with the knives going to slide in, capture that, and then come in to that little indent and catch. Just like that. <laughs> it actually freaking worked. I'm cutting up these boards to do a panel glue up. And real quick, I wanna highlight these really nice panel clamps that I got from Rockler, who you all know is a longtime sponsor of this channel. These not only provide horizontal clamping pressure, but they provide vertical clamping pressure. And that all ensures that that glue up comes out flat and everything's aligned. I'll make sure I'll drop a link for these down below so you guys can check them out for yourselves. I jumped on the CNC to carve the pocket where that lock mechanism goes. And then I can test out my prototype. Here I had to switch to my half inch long reach bit in order to cut all the way through that board. And this hole that I'm drilling here is for that three quarter inch brass rod that will serve as the push to open button on that actual finished board. And I should have been doing this on the drill press because I almost blew it out with this Forstner bit. Okay, so we're going through all the prototyping on this and Jeff actually had a really good idea. So before I was using a little block in here to capture this, when this piece pushes in, it allows this to pivot back. But what Jeff suggested is put a pivot point in this lever and we did it off camera. It actually worked really, really well. So I'm gonna do it on this piece. And all I'm doing is taking this tiny little drill bit here, drilling down into the walnut. I've got a pivot point right there. This pushes here, pivots around this, pulls that back. Works pretty good. And now I'm gonna take this quarter inch brass bar and this three quarter inch brass rod and I'm gonna cut all of these pieces out of this and this is what the actual internal mechanism is gonna be made of. So we're gonna go do that right now. 
Now these prototype plywood pieces fit so well that I'm just gonna use these as a template and I'm using some blue tape here covering those plywood pieces, cutting them off and then transferring these to those brass bars and then using some blue dicum dye that gives me a really highly visible cutout so I can cut these over on the bandsaw and brass cuts like butter on the bandsaw and then I can quickly refine that shape with a file. Now I can fit those brass pieces into that end that I cut earlier and get an idea of how that mechanism is gonna lock that knife board down. Speaking of locking things down, when it comes to your online privacy, I use Surfshark VPN, the sponsor of today's video. So you might ask yourself, what is a VPN and why would you use one? A VPN is a virtual private network which protects your data and your online privacy. It allows you to access your content safely and unlock exclusive content that you wouldn't otherwise have access to. And all of this comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. And my favorite time to use Surfshark VPN is when I'm traveling. When I'm logging in, into a public Wi-Fi network away from home, I can't always be certain that my data is gonna be safe. Turning on Surfshark VPN allows me to access over 3,000 servers in 65 different countries. Some countries restrict the internet and the content that you can access, but Surfshark VPN allows you to browse the internet freely and access the content that you need no matter where you are. And speaking of traveling, did you know that prices are often dictated by where the internet thinks you are in the world? Imagine getting cheaper hotel rates and cheaper flights just by using Surfshark VPN to change the server that you're logged into. To get Surfshark VPN today, go to surfshark.deals slash johnnybuilds and you'll get 83% off plus three months and antivirus for free. Thanks to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. I'm using this chunk of walnut for the knife tray and I'll use the knives themselves for the layout and then transfer all those dimensions into a SketchUp file that I can then use to carve this tray over on the CNC. Before cutting into the walnut and risking ruining that, I made a prototype of the knife board. And this first one didn't, uh, didn't quite work. I created a second version, added some finger holes so you can get in there and pull the knife out. And this one, as you can see, fits perfect. And now I can go ahead and carve this into the actual walnut. Jumping into SketchUp again, I'm gonna draw some vectors for a Darth Vader helmet mosaic pattern that's gonna go on the top of this cutting board. I just found a helmet design that I like online and then used this to draw some vectors over it until I got the shape that I wanted. Alrighty, all the pieces of the Vader mosaic board are cut and it's all ready to assemble. Now, I didn't add any extra tolerance, so I'm guessing as I start to put this all together, I'm gonna have to do some uh, sanding just to kind of fine tune everything, but this is the moment of this entire project that I've been most excited about it, so let's get started. The two glues that I'm using for this glue up are this quick and thick tight bond and then a dark tinted tight bond for the walnut pieces or dark side, if you're so inclined. If you only knew the power of the dark side. I'll have links for these down below as well as all the other tools and materials that I used on this build. Now, like I mentioned, these pieces did need some sanding and refining to fit all together. And this process was by far the most satisfying part of this whole project. It's like putting a puzzle together, but way less boring. This panel is for the bottom of the board and I broke out some Total Boat 2 to 1 epoxy tinted black to fill this knot hole. I'm 
I'm almost ready to assemble the board. And first up, I need to put this brass locking mechanism together. Each piece needed a hole drilled, and then I added a countersink, which allows room for the hardware that I'm gonna use, which I'm using these copper rivets. Now, normally these are used for leather work, but they were actually perfect for this project. I used the hammer on the anvil side of my vise, and a couple strikes I could peen over the top. That held it in place and still allowed enough room and spacing so these could move freely. I've already got the springs in place, and then I can fit the lock mechanism down into this this piece. Now, like I did earlier, I need to add a pivot point. So I drilled another hole into the lever arm and next I added a countersink to that. Now I can come back and then using that nut that I'm gonna use to capture everything, I can mark out its location and then chisel out a recess so I can then adhere that nut in place. And that's gonna hold this lever arm in place and allow it to pivot around this section. To build up the press button side of the lock mechanism, I'm using some Johnny Builds weld to adhere the catch bar to the mechanism. While that cures, I can put the board together, starting with those curved end pieces, which get glued up with some more of that tight bond dark side glue. This piece is the backspacer, and it's where I'm gonna drill in a couple holes and install a couple springs. And this is gonna provide tension to the knife board and then cause it to eject when that button on the side is pressed. The final piece of the lock mechanism is the button and I'm gonna use this three quarter inch brass rod to put that together. But first I need to cut it down to size. Now cutting a round object on a bandsaw can be unsafe. Like you wouldn't wanna get your hand cut off doing something like this. So using this Rockler hand screw clamp, this is gonna hold that rod in place and keep it stable while also giving it a flat surface to reference off as I cut. Again, I'm using some of that Johnny Builds weld to attach the button to the catch, and then that lock mechanism is all done. Okay, back to the knife board. I noticed that those springs behind it had a tendency to kind of push out to one side or the other. So I'm using a Forstner bit and adding some small pockets, and that's gonna allow those springs to catch in those pockets and prevent it from kicking out to one side or the other. Now I've got to set the positioning of the knife board. And once I had it exactly where I want it, I can mark out that location. And then I need to go chisel out a hole on the side. And that's gonna allow that latch mechanism to catch into the side of the knife board and hold it in place. Okay, moment of truth. I'm gonna try this for the first time and see if this works. So, obviously the top will be glued on, but for demonstration purposes, that'll come in if you push it hard enough, seems to knock that out of the way. And then as I push it against the springs, oh! <laughs> so I need to get over here. <gasps> it did it! <laughs> Little refining, but it's working pretty well. Now I can button this all up and get this thing done. For the front piece of this board, I intentionally made it oversized so I can mark the exact thickness that I need to cut it to in relation to where the knife board caught on the locking mechanism. Now I can finally glue up the top and this cutting board is looking really, really good. You guys know me, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I've been obsessed with the new Obi-Wan Kenobi show. Hello there. And this board was inspired by that cheese board that I built my wife last Christmas. But this one, I'm keeping this one. This one's for me. This Total Boat Wood Honey is my favorite cutting board finish. And if you guys wanna check it out, I've got links and a 10% off coupon down in the description below for you guys. You all know that Total Boat is a longtime sponsor of this channel. So when you support my sponsors, you help support this channel. Okay, it's time to see this cutting board in action.
Now, going into this, I had no idea how this was gonna work, but I was really surprised just how well this opening mechanism works. It was a little bit stiff at first, but after a couple cycles, this thing works like a charm. And then that click when everything locks back in place is so satisfying. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys think about this project. And if you like this one, you should definitely check out that Star Wars coffee table that I built a couple months back. And if you really dig this and you like that other video and you wanna watch more of my videos, then get subscribed. It's honestly the best way to support my channel and help it grow. And I appreciate all of you who have done that. As always, thank you to all of you for checking this one out and I'll see you back here next time. Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy as father and son.